Hi everyone, we're starting on lesson 7.4 today of solving linear trigonometric equations. We're going to go straight into example 1 from your learning resources. The question states that we have this equation, 2 sine x plus 1 equals 0. In the domain, x is between 0 and 2 pi. We have to determine all the solution in this specific interval. So the first thing we have to do is find the corresponding y that we need. We start out like we always have by writing down our original equation. That's 2 sine x plus 1 equals 0. We minus 1 on both sides of the equation that gives us 2 times sine x equals negative 1. We divide both sides of the equation by 2. So we have sine x equals negative 1.2. And negative 1.2 will be our y value. So now we're asked, for which value of x will y be negative 1.2? If we plug this straight into the calculator and solve for this, then x will be negative pi over 6. However, this is not in the domain, so we have to search for other solutions. In order to do that, let's first draw a graph. So here's a typical sine graph with no expansion and no compression, and we're looking for which value of x will produce the value of y of negative 1 over 2. So there's a value here, somewhere here, and a, another value somewhere here. So we have two solutions, and it has to be in between the domain from 0 to 2 pi, so we only have two solutions. We already know that one solution that's outside of the domain that we're looking for is negative pi over 6, which is the same as negative 30 degrees. So we can see that the second value that we just mentioned is exactly 2 pi away from negative pi over 6. So all we have to do to find this value, this value right here, is to add 2 pi to negative pi over 6. And we will get 11 pi over 6, and that's the first answer. The other one is a little more complicated to get. So first we have to break it down into steps. Pi, negative pi over 6 is somewhere over here. If we add pi to negative pi over 6, then we would get an answer somewhere over here. Now let's add pi over 2 to the answer that we just got, and we will get our second answer, which is 7 pi over 6. So from the graph, we can see that when x is equal to 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6, y is equal to negative 1 over 2. Now let's take a look at simplifying trigonometric equations, sorry, expressions. Sine and cosine obey the same rules as elementary algebra. For example, in algebra, we have x plus 5x equals to 6x. Likewise, in trigonometry, we have sine theta plus 2 sine theta equals to 3 sine theta. So let's try some simple practice. 10 cos theta plus 3 cos theta will be equal to 13 cos theta because 10 plus 3 is equal to 13. Simple enough. 5 sine theta minus 4 sine theta equals to sine theta. And 7 cos minus 9 cos equals to negative 2 cos theta. Recall that sine squared plus cosine squared equals to 1. So we can rearrange this. So that sine squared will be equal to one, oh, one, sorry, 1 minus cosine squared. And cosine squared will be equal to 1 minus sine squared. Now let's take a look at another example from your learning resources. Simplify the following. We have 3 minus 3 cos squared theta. What we can do is take out 3 from both, both of the terms, and that will give us 3 times in bracket 1 minus cosine squared theta. Recall from previous slide that 1 minus cosine squared theta also equals to sine squared. So the final answer is 3 sine squared theta. Now let's take a look at another example. Cos squared plus cos to the power of 4 theta times sine squared. We can take out cos squared from both of the terms and we're left with cos squared times in bracket cos squared plus sine squared theta. We know the second term is equal to 1, so our final answer would be cos squared theta. Let's look at the last example, 1 minus sine squared over cos squared. 
Well, one minus sine squared is the same thing as cos squared. So we would get cos squared over cos squared, which is equal to 1. And that would be the final answer. Now let's take a look at another example. Simplify cos theta plus sine theta, all in bracket and squared. The first thing we have to do is expand it. When we expand, we have cos squared theta plus 2 times cos times sine plus sine squared theta. We can rearrange the equation to make the sine squared theta in front of this term. Since it's addition, it doesn't really matter. Because when we do this, it's easy for you to see that cos squared theta plus sine squared theta will be equal to 1. Therefore, the final answer is 1 plus 2 times cos theta times sine theta. And that's the end of this lecture. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to check out the activity video as well as your assignment and upload them for your teacher to mark. And I'll see you guys next time.